Agadez was once a crossroads for ancient trading routes. Tuareg salt caravans used to pass through here. Today, this legendary desert city is a transit hub for migrants and people smugglers. Every week, 2,000 Africans begin a journey north with hopes of reaching Europe. Accompanied by armed guards, we're on the lookout for women on their way to Europe. There's no shortage of them here, but they're clearly reluctant to speak with foreign reporters. Once a colleague from a Nigerian TV station approaches them, two women agree to meet up with us in the evening to tell their story, provided they remain anonymous. I feel like to go and country. One of them tells us her plan is to travel from here to Libya and then to Italy. She says she knows Italy from films and thinks it must be a beautiful country. She's from Nigeria and she's been here two weeks. She does not want to reveal who's helping her get to Europe. She trusts only her roommate, who grew up here in Niger, and explains that more and more women from Nigeria are turning up in Agadez. They don't stay long, three or four months at the most. They try and earn some money and then continue on their way. Around seven at night, they're all out on the street to try and earn enough for a bite to eat. But when we ask about people smugglers, the women abruptly end the interview. There is evidence of people smuggling all over Agadez. A large part of the local economy is based on illegal commerce with people fleeing poverty. In the last few years, seven banks have opened in the city, and small money transfer shops can be found on almost every corner. The chaos in neighboring Libya plays right into the hands of the people smugglers here. They can reach the Mediterranean without strict border controls. The governor of Agadez downplays the situation. He says the international community is responsible for the problem. We often restrain migrants from heading across the desert when conditions are too dangerous or when we know they want to cross borders illegally, for example, to work in prostitution. But at the moment, there's nothing we can do at the border. We don't have enough resources. On the outskirts of town, it's evident that the government is doing little to stop people smuggling. Locals have a name for the overloaded trucks and vans heading into the desert, the Monday Convoy. Everyone here is familiar with it. But none of them can say how many of these vehicles will actually reach the Mediterranean.